Hi there, it's uh, Driver Wire DIY. Uh, today I'm at the bench. Uh, I've got on the bench, I've got a camshaft from a uh, Vauxhall Corsa C twin port. Uh, this is my son's car. Uh, we had a major breakdown on the motorway. I had to go on, tow him off, and get him back here. And uh, there was all sorts of flashing lights going on the uh, on the dashboard, uh, codes. Uh, cylinder problems, it sounded terrible, it was like a bag of nails and stuff. But anyway, now a lot of di long story cut short, on a uh, bit of diagnosis, uh, I took the end, you know, I checked a few things, checked the spark and all that sort of thing, it became more apparent that it was a mechanical problem. So uh, I took the camshaft cover off, that was a uh, start for 10, to find this in front of me. And what it was, was a broke, this is the exhaust camshaft, as 1.2 twin port Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, this is a Vauxhall camshaft. This is the exhaust camshaft. What I was faced with, it was straight pretty obvious, was that it was broken. Is that the, uh, the camshaft had come apart? You can see that. Uh, it bent valves. It caused, you know, it caused an engine rebuild to change the uh, head gasket. I had to change the chain and valves re you know have the head all sorted out and everything but this was down to uh to the camshaft break and i looked into it as well i went you know went online i'd look around and see what else people and become a bit of a problem for twin ports it was mainly box of course to see twin ports that this was the issue and um, what was happening this was something to check uh, if you've got a twin port i'd make this part of your maintenance yeah part of your maintenance and uh, what it turns out is that the screws on the uh, camshaft bearing caps come undone. They're not taut properly. And it's uh, something to do with the factory or whatever. But for some reason they're coming undone. And what's happening is the camshaft's going round. These are coming undone. Uh, they're not to talk. And eventually it starts rattling. And uh, it causes the uh, camshaft to go offline and causes it to snap. Causing a major engine failure bending valves and all sorts of things and it was a right mess, it cost me, me because I did it DIY, it cost me 600 quid but some people were paying 1500 quid to have the engine rebuilt and everything. But uh, this is for a twin port Vauxhall Corsa C so it's worth looking at if you've got one of them. Uh, I think it was a 52 plate. Uh, if you've got that sort of thing I would really consider looking into it because you know if you can catch it just in time and get these uh, uh, get these retorked, that'd be really good. I mean, mine snapped as well. I had to get the screw out, try and get the screw out, which I've done a video on that because it was quite difficult, but I got it out. Uh, but yeah, this is what's happened. It was a, you know, it was a right mess. Uh, I couldn't believe it snapped. I mean, there's not many videos out there on what happened on this sort of thing. I think I saw one or two from Europe or whatever, but it's not a common, it seems to be a common problem, but it's not really put out there that much. So, uh, if I was doing some maintenance on my Vauxhall Corsa C 1.2 twin port, I think I'd be looking at uh, having these checked. If you, you know, if you put your car in for a service, it might be worth bringing it up. You know, the mechanics might look at it anyway, but it's uh, definitely worth thinking about. But to have a broken camshaft like this, you know, it's, it shocked me. It's the first time I'd ever really seen one, being a DIYer. wire. But uh, yeah, have a look at it. See what you think, because uh, to see one of these break, you know, made a right mess. <laughs> couldn't believe, you know, couldn't believe it. Look at that, it's right, snapped right in half. It's right, look at it. It's shredded and everything, the engine was in a right mess. I wish I'd done a video on that, it would have been a great video uh, to do that. Did a complete engine rebuild, rebuild on it. Uh, did the timing chain on it, did all sorts of jobs on it. I mean, it's that much footage I could have done but I didn't but here we are but this is what I've got left over the car's gone now uh, it was sold on but uh, this is what I left with I kept all of this uh, just to show you and uh, bear that in mind if you buy a Vauxhall Corsa C twin port of that generation uh, yeah look at it anyway I'm Drive YD on wire uh, hopefully this helps uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you buy one of these cars, bear that in mind. See you soon.